yes guys welcome back welcome back we are an, again on another exploring trip i'm joined with my friend moreno here william is behind the camera and we are today in france we are exploring another as you can see beautiful villa or like we would say it in french manoir a beautiful place that has been left behind by patrick and pauline and they uh, left it behind in 2004 it's just insane what's left behind and just uh, yeah I'm just stunned by this place. You as well, right, Moreno? This yeah. place is really incredible. And as you can see, built in 1888. 1888, imagine Very that. historical manner. 140 years old. Yeah. Let's go inside and see that history. Come on, guys. So we go in through this uh, window seal over here, into the building, all doors and all windows of this place. I just open. Patrick and Pauline left it behind for an unknown reason. They were really wealthy French people. They had lots of things. They played piano. They had violins around this place. Lots of TVs, beautiful bathrooms, beautiful bedrooms. I'm gonna show it all to you. We're gonna start off here in their yeah, huge dining room where they welcome their guests for a meal. First thing we see over here is this table with the chairs around it still made the glasses are still on the table and this guys this is a jug of wine where there's still wine left in the jug isn't that completely crazy wow then we focus our attention on this corner of the room they had like this little cute television to watch some tv while they had some dinner with family and friends what I find quite interesting over here is this casket. This used to be a violin casket inside of here. There used to be a beautiful violin, but of course that has, uh, has gone because nobody leaves that behind. But yeah, Pauline was really into flowers. These were real flowers. They have been left behind for 15 years right now. They're crumbling apart. We have this stand over here. You see them quite a lot. So the newspapers would be in this sleeve over here. And then you have some coffee or tea mugs on the top of it. With a little lamp. There would be two chairs besides it. In most homes, people put two chairs behind it, besides it. Put some newspapers in here, drink some coffee. And yeah, just enjoy this table. It's quite a special table. Let's go a little bit further into the room. Can we go through that side, William? And Show them the fireplace and the beautiful flowers above it. Mm, let me see if these are real. No, these ones are fake. Watch out, William is trampling on some wallpaper. Got this made a bird over here. I'm gonna shine some light on it. Wow, it's pretty special. You can see this place has been decaying for a long time now. From this little painting over here that has completely decayed in the course of the last 15 years. We were discussing, me and Moreno and William were discussing, uh, maybe true that all the windows and doors are open in this place. A lot of rain and, and moist has come into this place and has deteriorated all the stuff inside of here. You have this VHS or record player. This used to be a stereo, it says on here. Wow. Old school machine. Then over here, we have like this little sitting area. They didn't used to eat here. They used to just enjoy a cup of coffee with some friends over here. Just enjoy themselves, drink something, talk about daily life. It's quite a cute setup with these little chairs. I just love it. They have all these little files over here. I don't know what this one was used for. This was for, oh, is it, oh this is vinegar. And this is Yule, is that oil? Yule is oil, yes, Yule is oil. Vin vinegar and oil. Files here in the corner. They had this cute little wine barrel. 
I think Porto would be inside of here. This is a Portuguese drink. It's stronger than wine. That's why they had these little shot glasses besides it. So that explains this little setup over here. Then we have some biscuit, uh, biscuit uh, containers over here. We can come a little bit further over here, if you want. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even see it. Is it a duck? This is a real one. You see it? Oh my gosh. Did it die in here or were they ready to set it up? Like make a set up animal of it? I don't know. That's crazy. Why is it this state if it isn't set up? Yeah, I think it died over here. Yeah, that's... That, wow. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. You now standing in some sort of a utilitary room. It's like a little cleaning mop over here. Wow, there's even a calculator inside of this bucket. And it still works. Two plus two is four. <laughs> Remember the song? <laughs> well, you turn it every room with beautiful flowers. Pauline was really into flowers. You can see it all around the house. Even upstairs, she had lots and lots of flowers. Let's go into here because over here there's the bathroom. <laughs> wow, it's the roof door. Look at this jacuzzi behind us here. Yeah, jacuzzi is not kind of a jacuzzi, it's more like a bathtub. But if there would be like bubbles inside of it, then it would be a jacuzzi. So you could sit in here with a few people. That, with this bathtub, you can see that these people were really, really rich. They had a lot of money. Wow. Then you can turn around. Over here are the sinks and there was even a toothbrush left behind. Two and a half euros, they bought it, but they could never use it anymore. Even Pauline put a little puppet inside of the bathroom to entertain herself when she was in the bath. <laughs> some shower gel for females left behind. And some hair gel for men. So, hmm, hmm, let me think about that. Did there live a man in here after Patrick died? Maybe, maybe a cousin or something like that to help Pauline out when she was in need. Okay, let's go to the other rooms because there are also some business rooms in this place, some bedrooms upstairs and another incredible living room that we're gonna see in a minute. We're now entering into the hallway of the place. This is where they welcomed their guests. They had beautiful wallpaper over here, as you can see with the flowers and everything. Oh, look at the painting on the wall. It's of deer drinking in the water. And if you turn around, William, I also want to show the people this painting. It's a hoofsmith working on a working horse. Wow. From the hallway, we walk straight into another living room. And yeah, you can see Pauline, she was really old when she died. And she had to use, uh, she was immo immobile. So she had, she had to use a wheelchair to get around. That's maybe why we found the hair gel in the in the bathroom. So maybe a cousin or another friend lived here with her and she helped her out. Maybe she wanted to stay in her home and didn't want to go to a resting home. That's quite a possibility. A lot of people don't like resting homes. Oh my God, come over here, William. Look at all the utilities that are left behind here in, underneath the fireplace. So we got like a Belgian waffle iron over here. Got like this pan to bake pancakes. Are there pancakes? I don't know what you bake in that. And then we have like this little pot over here in the corner. Let's see what we got more in here. Wow. This corner chair over here. Chesterfield corner chair. And then for one of my favorite parts of the home, this was Patrick's office. And we were not 100% sure what his job was, 
what his occupation was. But this is where he earned the money and where he made the life possible for him and Pauline. Got a little puppet of Pauline up here. Look at this. Bertagne. This looks like a TV or something like that. Wow. Got these old school records over here. Gloria Gagnor. Full, a closet full with records. Isabel Music. Chinese Kung Fu. <laughs> I would love to listen to them. A lot of books over here. Oh, this might have been Patrick himself standing beside a beautiful bridge. I'm sorry, but I have no clue where this bridge is. But you can see Patrick here in the picture. A lot, a lot, a lot of puppets over here. They're all left behind. This little puppet is of a woman making a wooden basket with bamboo, I think it is. And here is a man holding garlic. They look like two French people. Yeah, he has like a Mexican hat on, but I think these are French people. Underneath here, we have a few more. Oh, look at this puppet. I'm gonna place them back afterwards. But this is a, a little girl, and here on the on the engraving it says Ardennes, Belgium. So that means the, uh, the mountain region of Belgium where I'm from. She has like flowers in her basket. It's pretty crazy. Let's put them back. And this is a Dutch girl. So she probably got them from the Netherlands and from Belgium. A keyboard. Another girl. An old school printer. This was Patrick's office. As you can see, a lot, a lot of books left behind. I'm gonna see what these books are all about. L'Ambre sur le Mazon. Yeah, most of the books are about, about uh, photography and, and, and gardens. Uh, so I think he maybe was uh, selling homes or something like that. Yeah, that's maybe why he has such a beautiful place. So we're now entering one another magnificent room in this place. As you can see, we're looking right now at a chandelier, a crystallier chandelier with copper and everything hanging just in this room, forgotten. How can anybody leave something like this behind? That, that just boggles my mind from time to time. Wow. And like every big manoir in France, they need to have like this incredible piano. It's not a wing piano, it's just a corner piano, a normal piano, but it's made in Paris. That's special about it. And, and here above the piano, we have like this beautiful painting of a French village, little village town of the uh, back in the 1900s, uh, in the 1800s, 1900s, where farmers are working. Well, now we're gonna head upstairs and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what's up there. We got some bedrooms up there, some, um, some bathrooms and uh, uh, some other incredible stuff. Let's go up there. Yes, we're now on the top floor of the place. Look at the incredible wallpaper that they had over here. With all the roses on it. Let's go into the first room. I'm really excited to see how the bedrooms of the children look like. And of the man and woman, Patrick and Paula, that lived here. This might have been one of the children's bedrooms. Yeah, it's definitely one of the children's bedrooms. As you can see, there's a one-person bed for a child. Still made, that's incredible something that you always see in France. Oh, I love these light switches. This is like an old school light switch. Then we have the chair over here, probably to hang the clothes from at night. Still made bed. Little light beside the bed. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Here. It's a beautiful chandelier in the room. Oh, this place is filled with incredible artifacts. 
look in the design and detail on this chandelier. We have a little table over there in the corner, another chair like this. And this one is like, wow, this is a box of toffees, quality street toffees. This is a really famous toffees, toffees and chocolates. It's incredible. It's me there in the mirror, but they had a fireplace in this room. Of course, this building has been built in 1888. And in that time, yeah, nobody had like central heating inside of their buildings. So they used fireplaces to heat up every room in the building. You can see that there's like a child picture over here. He's holding some toys. That's really cute. Got these African handmade wooden statues. This perfume bottle over here. A hat hanging beside it. Wow. And I love these clocks. My grandpa, uh, grandpa had one of these at home and then as, as a child I would watch them for hours and hours. Look below the fireplace over here. These are the little uh, plushy bears from the child. And they have their own little bed. How cute is that? <laughs> I just love it. A little bit of a mess over here. This used to be the drawers of the child where you kept his clothes. Okay, let's go through. Wow, what do we find over here? Some sort of a bathroom slash storage area that's filled with VHS tapes. Blech, Nana. These are French movies. Black Angel over there. Wow. And then we got this like cabinet filled with clothes from the person that lived here. These are probably man's clothes. So these were from Patrick. And we still got some bed linen and towels and everything over there. Okay, let's go further on the top floor. We're now gonna make our way from the children's bedroom in what I believe is the master bedroom of the place. Look at it. Got like a closet over here. Beautifully designed. Wow, this is like gold plating. These were really rich people. Their day to day occupations, they would, yeah, they would thrive. See, all the towels and everything, scarves that they had in here. Let's open this one up. Wow, it's pretty stiff. Wow, the squeaking sound. This is filled with more blankets and wow. Whoa, that makes a lot of squeaking sound and I hope nobody heard that. We got a record player here on the table. It's from Philips, it's a Dutch brand. It's made in Eindhoven, oh yeah, what used to be made in Eindhoven. And this incredible watch over here on the table. That's insane. Wow. This stand over here with the purse and the light. And over here in the side of the room. Look at how the room is designed. It has blue curtains, blue wallpaper. Everything is blue inside of this room. And then we have the bed, still made with like uh, these flowers, a flower bed linen on top of it. Pillows are still there. The bed seal is also really nice. Beautiful detail on it. Then we walk into what I believe is their bathroom. So they had this incredible bathroom that we just saw downstairs. But up here they have some sort of a laundry slash bathroom these are the clothes of pauline she lived here the longest so she left all this behind we got like a little boat over here <laughs> that's pretty cool there are still some clothes trying from pauline
is where she used to brush her teeth at night. Still a toothbrush left behind over here. And some face cream and some, yeah, some other stuff, some hydrant. Pretty nice mirror over there. Then for the last room upstairs here, I want to show this room. This is not a bedroom, supposedly from a child or from one of the parents. As you can see here on the floor, what I just found is this like weapons case. There used to be like a gun inside of here. That has been taken out already, unfortunately. I really want to find an, a working gun inside of a place. Not want to shoot it, but just want to see it, just like for the fun of it, like there's a gun behind in Europe, because guns are really rare over here. Some mushrooms growing inside of the room. And like I told you before, she was really into collecting like these little puppets. And there are a few more over here. They're pretty creepy on the couch over here. In the corner of the room. Some more on the floor here. Like this clown, a few clowns. Then we have like this baby puppet over here. Wow, it's pretty cool. The wallpaper is peeling off from the ceiling. And then we have another bed over here. Okay, then we can go through the wall into what I believe, yeah, this was the module, but it's in a really bad condition. Oh my gosh, all the wallpaper has peeled off inside of this bathroom. Look at this. This used to be the shower. You can't even make out a shower from it anymore. Let me turn around. Wow. There's even another room over there. Let's check that out as well. What in the hell? this this looks like another children's bedroom <laughs> we got like this dog on the wall there's like a 3d dog see there's a 3d picture but this room is completely in disrepair look at the bookshelf over here wow that is insane these are all manga. You kidding me? These are for real. Wow. That's crazy. Manga is like a Japanese comic book. Oh yes, it, it is for real. So the child that lived over in, in this room, he was really into manga, reading manga. I don't know any of these characters because I'm not really that into manga. I can recognize them. Wow. And we got like this chair over here in the corner. Yep. I'm gonna, now gonna take a look in the basement that has been built in 1888. <laughs> That's quite exciting for me. Because in that time they built the basements really different from how they do it nowadays. I hope we can find something in here. There's definitely a lot of stuff left behind. Oh, wow. You're not gonna believe what we're gonna find in here. <laughs> Come have a look, William. We saw this. Yeah, we saw this before. I'm gonna link another video where we saw a lot of like these food, scanned foods, but these are really old. I'm not gonna touch them. They look so incredibly disgusting come over here here we have some jams left behind all these little jams some more jams over here wow. how insane is this this incredible meat grinder now we're gonna go to this room. This is some sort, of, oh, another food storage room. This is where they stored like all the pots to put the food in. This is where they stored all their drinks. You can see there's still some bottles of beer left behind. 
There's no expire date anywhere. This is alcohol that doesn't expire. <laughs> Some more bottles. I'm always curious if I can find Belgian beers. This is a French beer. Wow, look at this room here in the back. This is like a creative room. We have seen before that Pauline was really, really creative with all our flowers and our puppets. But in here she made like drawings, little yeah, creative art pieces she made here. She has all these rubber bands. Wow, all these colors and over, over there. These beer cans. Old and rusty beer cans. She really enjoyed herself. As you can see, all these newspapers over here, all left behind. Oh, I'm very sorry, guys. I forgot about the most important room of the whole house. Of course, guys, the kitchen. Who forgets about the kitchen? Leslie does. But yeah, I'm gonna show it anyways to you at the end of the video. Good morning. <laughs> it's like a peacock. No, it's like a cock, just a cock, not a peacock. Peacock is more beautiful, more beautiful. Oh, it's a pretty nice kitchen, actually. Wow. Lovely little kitchen. All the things left behind. Let's see what's left behind in the cupboards. Glasses, of course. Look at this. Mm, biscuits for the soup. Wow. Just beautiful. Oh, it's get out of me. Sorry that I swear, but that was. I need a little breath. Okay. That was the kitchen, guys. I hope you really, really enjoyed this week's video because I did. I tried to make it a little bit longer this week and I hope you like that because a lot of people have commented in the description below. Make these videos longer, show more details and that's what I did this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. With that all said, go to Patreon, give us a little bit of money over there so we can explore more places around the world. This summer we want to go to China, so we have need to have a lot of money for that. So Patreon is the way to support us. Like, subscribe and comment. Uh, and like always guys, I see you next week and I love you. Bye-bye.